going to do a video on the seat and rack marker. So behind me, you'll see some of the seat markers. They're little sculptures that identify where you sit. That's a seating chart back there. And there's a second little sculpture that actually sits on your shelf. And that sculpture reminds you what shelf is yours. In the seat and rack marker, uh, one of the most important things you're going to be doing is learning how to attach one piece of clay to another piece of clay. Steps you're going to go through to make your seat and rack marker is you're going to think about a design, what will help me get to know you. Um, you're going to get the clay and tools you need to do that. And then you're going to start sculpting, scratching, connecting pieces of clay. But at the beginning of this project, I want to do something that's real important. Getting one piece of clay to stick to another is what you're going to be using throughout the semester. So I'm going to do a little demonstration. Remember, I have a surfboard in mind. So I'm going to take these two little pieces of clay and I'm going to connect them in four different ways. And then at the very end of this demonstration, we're going to see which way works best. So I can take my surfboard and attach my fin by just pushing it on there. And it might stick. I can take a surfboard and I can take the piece of clay that I want attached to it. I can get that piece of clay wet where it's going to be attached wet. I can push those two together and it has a better chance of attaching. I can take my surfboard, take my fin, I can get it wet, I can get where it's going to attach wet, and I can scratch that surface, both of the surfaces, and then I can push it on there, and that'll have even a better chance. But the right way to get one piece of clay to stick to another is you get both surfaces wet, you scratch them. Uh, scratching creates a little mortar in there. You push them together. You press them on there. And then you take this very important tool and you compress the edges. So that I'm squishing those edges down in there, making the two pieces of clay stuck to each other. So when we're all done with this video, we're going to look at these four little pieces and see which one stuck best. So you're going to be given a slab of clay, and the idea is to sculpt something on that slab that helps me get to know you. I'm going to do my same surfboard. I'm going to take some clay. I'm going to cut myself out a surfboard, right, and a fin, right? And uh, the surfboard fits on there like this and then goes like, oh yeah, how's it go? Like that. So I need to attach this piece of clay to here. I'm going to get it wet on the two surfaces. I'm going to scratch the two surfaces. I'm going to press them into place. So this looks like this. And then I'm going to take my little compressing tool and I'm going to compress it. And then I'm going to put my name here. Well, I could write my name and just go Rob. That's what I'm called when I'm not called Mr. Boriskin. And that would communicate but it, it doesn't really look that good. So to make it a look, little better, I'm going to actually scratch these surfaces. I've coiled myself a little piece of clay, and I am going to, once again, get it wet, and I am going to write Rob in clay. And now when you see that, as opposed to just the scratch, it'll be a lot clearer. You can find any tool that works for you to kind of uh, press edges. This kind of will make the circle look a little better. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the same thing in here. Oh, here's a, I'll try this tool right there. When you do the project, you're going to spend lots of time and you're going to make them look real good. But at a very basic level, I have communicated my name is Rob and I used to surf. It has to have a hole in it because it's going to hang on the chart back there. So for me, the easiest way to make a hole is just take the back of my needle tool and push. So to smooth the edges, I find a paintbrush with water is really good. So down here where my surfboard was, I can get in there. I can make that look a whole lot nicer if I just smooth it out with a paintbrush. I can get in here around my name, Rob, and smooth those edges, flatten that out a little bit. And using the paintbrush, you're actually adding a little water, which often also helps to seal it. Take this piece of ceramics. You're going to let it dry 
you're going to paint it with glaze and then when you're done painting it with glaze you're going to have a finished product that's going to look something like this. Everybody in this class gets one half of a rack to store their ceramics. I'm going to do this one super quick. Get your slab of clay. I like to read. I'm going to cut myself out a book. I've just folded my book. I'm going to attach my book to the, the thing. I'm going to write here, Rob, and there it is, a rack marker. What didn't I do? I didn't wet the surface where I was attaching the clay. I didn't scratch the surface where the clay is going to be attached. I didn't press it down and make the book look like a book. And I didn't compress the edges. And if you get anything out of the video, that's what you need to get out of this video. So like I promised at the beginning of the video, I put these out and let them dry. One of the interesting things, if you notice with this surfboard, the fin right along this line here, you'll see there is space. It looks like a shadow. And there's space even more with this one. This is the one I just pushed down. And there's a little less space here. I pressed it. And at this one, there's no space. So here's the test. Ready? Pick up the fin and, oh darn, the fin fell off. I just pushed that one on. Okay. This one, I scratched and pushed. Oh darn, the fin came off. Um, this one, I actually pressed, scratched, and press it down and got it pretty wet and <laughs> it stuck pretty good but if you put a little pressure on it it breaks off so this is what you want to do you want to get the two place pieces of clay wet you want to scratch them you want to press them together and then you want to compress them and then it will stick